Hey guys, Shadow here. Welcome to another Minecraft video. And welcome to something new on the channel. Um, welcome to Enchanted Dragons. The Dragons game, Dragons server. This is an RPG game mode with dragons. Here's my dragon, a ruby heart, which is a combat dragon. Um, so if you do enjoy this video, make sure to smash like subscribe turn notifications um they do have a discord and i have the discord in the, the uh description and in the pinned comment and whatnot but if you do enjoy just make sure to smash like so and i'm here to give you all a pretty much a tutorial on how to and what this service is about how to play it it's still an early access i bought in the uh early access so I'm able to so I'll be able to play it I've been playing for a little while as you can see in my uh, combat dragon is level six there's the discord right there guys if you want to uh, if you want to join the discord but I also have it in the description and in the pinned comment so the the server just got released into early access, and this is an amazing server from what I've seen. Like, the builds are top quality, the coding is top quality. But you gotta do, guys, you gotta do keep in mind this is a pay to play server. Which, um, it, the prices are actually extremely reasonable, and it's only a one time purchase, and then you can play at your own pace. It's, it's not. It's not like you pay to play and then you have to pay again to play. It's a one-time purchase and whatnot. But, anyways, as you see, there's a lot of people. This is the hub, so when, when you first spawn in, you'll be introduced to the actual main hub. Now, what you could do is, is you can, you can join the Discord and... They have a code right here, which you can enter coupons to actually get it somewhat, get the rewards discounted. So you talk to Fabian here. Um, unfortunately, I've already bought the pass before I knew about the code. So I had to pay full price, but you guys might not be able to. So let me show you all around the hub first, and then we'll actually get into the gameplay side of things. And I hope this really helps that if you guys... This is a bedrock feature server, so if so, if you guys do want to play with me and others, this RPG game it is a featured bedrock server. It is an early access. You do have to pay to play, but then pretty much everything is just grind at your own pace, pretty much. So if you come over here, Dragons is currently in early access, which means not all features are available me immediately but we'll be adding more features over time for everyone with the dragon pass so if you have purchased a dragon pass there will be updates coming out with early access that cause you to do more than what you start off by doing if you're wanting to explore the ever-evolving dragon isles and hatch your very own dragon the dragon's pass is now available to everyone just click on the Enchanted Store or talk to Felix. After purchasing the Dragon's Pass, you'll have full access to Dragons during and after the early access. So it is only a one-time payment, which is a good thing. It's not like when full release comes out, you have to pay for it again, which I absolutely respect, and I do love that. So right now, uh, there are three types of Dragons. There might be more to come out in the future. I have no idea. I, I'm just been playing the server as I go, learning from staff as I go, from developers. So, the three dragons we got right now are combat dragons, farming dragons, and mining dragons. And I picked a combat, which I would personally, I personally think combat is the best choice because combat is one of the hardest that you can actually level up. But it's really up to you. You get to choose your own dragon and. Make up your own story on how you want to become a dragon tamer yourself. That's unique about the server. 
And it's only a one-time payment. I'm sure there'll be more stuff in the future that you can purchase. But as of right now, it's still in early access. So you gotta guys keep in mind that we're, we're in early. This is an unknown mining dragon. I have not seen him before. Hello there, friend. I noticed you've had your eye on us, mining dragon. Let me tell you about us. Oh, this is a mining dragon. No problem. My name? Let's keep that a mystery. All right. Well, guess we're keeping his name a mystery. Here's the portal to Yville. We'll go there in a second. But yeah, you could pretty much just... They just brought in early access a couple days ago. So what you're... So what you're, do, what you're doing is... This is mainly the main hub. You can explore the main hub you want. I'll leave a... a I'm not going to sit here and explore because then I'll take up the whole episode. But when you guys play, I'll let you explore at your own pace. Um, so... When you talk to Felix, which right now says I already have the Dragon's Pass because I already own it. So, or, or you can hit the pause menu and go to the store right here. And there's two passes you can get. You get the regular Dragon's Pass, which, which is only like $8.00. And, and this is what you get. With the uh, regular, the normal Dragon's Pass. Or, or if you want to be, uh, if, you, if you have money to spend, which is $16, you can buy the VIP. Which, this gives you two extra Dragon Eggs, access to VIP tag, and access to the legendary Dancy Dance emote. But, there will be more stuff added over time. I'm... I'm not. I'm just a player on the server. I'm not a developer. So if you have any questions about what the server is, how the server operates, the best thing to do is join the Discord, which I'll have it in the description below, and get answers from staff or the community that actually knows what they're talking about. And it's been here. So, anyways, off to Wyville. So once you purchase a Dragon's Pass, you will get access to Wyville. So if we teleport the Wyville, we're here. This is where you'll spawn in at Wyville. Now, I've already done the tutorial, and I've actually seen I'm in level 5 on everything. You'll start off level 1 with no dragon. So the first thing, I'm actually going to turn the music off. And my actual video settings down here. Nope, that's actually audio. I don't have music. Is it the sound? It's actually part of the game, never mind. Um, it is part of the server. So, when you do spawn in, Felix will be here, ready to talk to you. So, you see, so already, I've already leveled up to level 5 on everything, so I've already completed the tutorial and pretty much played. Bit, but you will start off with Felix here, and this right here, this is a dragon bag where you have access to Dragon Party, which tells you which dragons you have accessible to. Pocket teleport, there, which teleports you to these locations, which you'll unlock as time goes. And then here's a quest list, which which some quests that I have unlocked that I have not started, which and whatnot. The main thing you'll start off first is you, you'll start off with Yville tutorial, which you get a dragon egg for completing the tutorial, and that's basically that helps you get start up with the server is by doing the tutorial. Every everyone, I don't think there's a way to skip the tutorial. Everyone has it's a quest. Everyone has to do tutorial, which it, it's a good thing that they made it to where you have to do tutorial because then it gives you a feel of the server. It gives you access to the server and whatnot, like 
pretty much tells you how to play the server and what the server is about, you, you could say. So, with that being with that being said, you you will uh, you will be able to access to three different locations. Which here is the mining temple. You'll have to do a quest here at the mining temple to start the tutorial, which it'll tell you everything what to do. Tutorial is pretty basic. It just gives you a feel on the server and and what to do to actually level up. Because you have to reach that in depleting on which dragon you use, it can only level up in that one specific area. So as you can see in the bottom right or left, I don't know my directions. Ruby Heart dislikes mining, that's because they're a combat dragon. So they can only level up if I am in the middle of combat. They they do not like mining, they do not like farming. So with that being said, it, it won't level up if we're here at the uh, mining, temp uh, mining temple because it does not like mining. And there will be evolves coming soon with dragons and whatnot. And there, there will be a lot of updates coming out in the future. I'm not going to... You're, you're, you're just going to have to play the server and find out which they all have in store. I'm, I'm not going to spoil everything because I'm sure there's stuff that they don't want out to the public. But I'm just showing y'all what we have, or what they have for now. But there will be more updates coming soon that that could definitely make the server a lot better. I mean, it's already a good server, it being early access. I'm surprised it's this good, but uh, I ain't complaining though. So this is the mine. It's, it's it's pretty massive and whatnot. There's a few... Once you complete the tutorial, there will be a few quests down here. And you see the XP bar on my hotbar? That's how much it is required to actually level up. But it, it'll, tell you, it'll, it'll tell you that in the tutorial and whatnot. I'm not going to bore you guys too much being here inside of the mining temple. This app, this 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 video is just to sh show off the server and what they have for now. Um, and if you have any more questions of what the server is, just don't forget to just just join the Discord. They they'll help you and whatnot. All right, here's the so here's the farming temple. And again, my dragon is a combat, so it dislikes farming. Um, so here you go, you'll, you'll be here, you'll come here, part of the tutorial and whatnot. Because once, once you complete the tutorial, after that, it's pretty much your own pace, which I like about this server. It's not, it's not forcing you to grind with other people. It's, if you, it's, if you want to be the, uh, best in the server, you're, you're gonna, you're gonna grind for it. Um... Like these people down here are. They're grinding the farming. Leveling up farming. So here's the farming area. You'll, you'll, after the tutorial. You'll start off with wood tools and whatnot. And the way to get stone. Is you have to reach level 5. Um, so that's why I have stone tools here. And some stuff you'll be able to break. Some stuff. It, it'll tell you that you're. He tells me I need a stone axe or better to break this block, but it what this means is you have to be level five to break birch and whatnot. And and pretty much other things. Um so I'm not gonna bore you with the farming temple and whatnot. If you want more if you want to experience more of the server and have an actual good feel of it. Cause here's here's the server itself. This is the whole map. 
So right now we're at the combat temple, but they have a mining temple, farming temple, shopping district, which I'll show you guys this shopping district. I'll show you the hatching altars, and I'll show you the uh, town hall. I I'm, I'm probably not going to go to the mysterious portal, because I have no idea where that's at. And, or, Felix's house. I don't know where that's at either. Um, but if, if you want to find out where those people are, are living, you're just going to have to find out in the, uh... Pretty much in the, uh, server whatnot. It is a featured Bedrock server. It's called the Chant of Dragons. You do have to pay to play, which... It's unfortunate, but I get why they did it. Because it is early access, and they have to get money to keep the server alive somehow. And from from what I've seen right now is when is you pay for uh, early access in order to play, and that's it. I have no idea, though, when full release comes out, so... Because they just released early access, so it probably won't be a while until a full release comes out. And... And let's see. Oh, and another thing is... What was I gonna say? Oh, yeah. It is a one... These prices are... If you, if you have the... What I would do is... Because what I did was end up paying for... The regular early access because <laughs> sorry I'm dying I went ahead and paid for regular because I didn't think at the time you know it was just early access just got released I had no idea what Enchanted Dragons was about or even if this was going to be a good server to even play and whatnot and it turns out it is so I might end up purchasing VIP here very soon and and whatnot I I might at the I was gonna say I might at the end of the video but I'll probably wait until I'm off camera to purchase VIP because the server is actually worth it and and whatnot but if if you're just new to the server and you don't think and you're for certain that you probably won't play it it ever again, I would just get the eight dollar, the uh, just a early act, just a regular early access. Although it gives you one dragon egg and and whatnot, and you have the early tag, it's it's still worth it regardless, cause you're you're still whether you're you have the early tag or your VIP as of right now, it's pretty much. It's just the uh, same thing. You go, you just level up normally. Only thing with VIP is you have two extra dragon eggs and whatnot. From what I've seen, but I could be I could be wrong. They're gonna update the server soon. Oh, uh, let's see. Um, I mean this server is amazing from what I've seen, which. For an RPG game, this is just... And Dragons, too. And whatnot. But, yeah, this is the... Okay, so back on track. Uh, enough of my rambling off-topicness. This is the Combat Temple. In which you'll have to come here during the tutorial. But it's not much to do here. And whatnot. It's just... It has you go through everything just to... Get a feel of the... And it shows you how to level up and do all that and whatnot, too. Um, but after that, it shows... You, you you can do quests, you can level up your dragon, level up your own, uh... yourself as a, as a dragon tamer. And pretty much... But I'm sure this server will have a lot of more stuff come out in the future that... It is going to help in the long run, but 
Oh, there's the, uh, le there's a Dance Dance emote from the VIP. But anyways, here's the combat zone. Which you can slay pigs and chicken. Ho you can slay horses, but you have to be a level 5 to do that. And, and then... Over here, there will be a cow boss mob that spawns in every once in a while. They have to be level 5, too. This is a shady merchant. They're everywhere in... It's... Which I'm glad that the shady merchants exist, because... Now you... Now we don't have to constantly keep going back to shopping district and... To sell our items when we could just come here to the, uh... You just come here and sell it. However, I just now noticed. I should have read the info. Uh, it sells for 10% less. So you are getting more coins if you actually head back towards the uh, shopping district. Which, speaking of the shopping district, we'll go ahead and teleport there now. Alright, here's the shopping district. I don't know how long this video is going to be, but I'm going to show you all basically... Everything that you need to know how to get started in the server and whatnot. Just trying to help. Um, so, when you come to the shopping district, here's Willow. He's a farming merchant. So, if you want to come here and sell all your farming needs, you'd come to right here, which this store... I don't know what this store is pretty much called. I don't think it has... It's a name... Natural Blocky, I think? No. Yeah, Natural Blocky. Naturally Blocky, that's the shop name. And then you'll, and then if you want, you can come over, go over here. And you would talk to this guy in here. This is Pedro, this is the mining merchant. This is where you'll sell all your mining, uh, tools and whatnot, which we don't currently don't have anything in our inventory to sell, so we're not going to worry about selling anything. And then over here is Butch. This is the combat merchant, which you'll sell all the the combat, combat stuff and whatnot. And that's pretty much what we got. Well, over here we have Smith, which... This is where you'll be able to get your upgrades and you're able to enchant your gear. But you have to be all level 5 to enchant and to get an upgrade from wood to stone. And then there will be updates in the future that adds more of these sh shops and whatnot. This is the pick and choose, which is the mining one. Then we have stakeout, which is the combat. Mini boss mom. Can I hit you? No. But yeah, anyway, anyways. And then this is where you can also... This is where some people spawn into back here. Which, which, and then here's the mailboxes. You make sure when you get mail, you can check your mailboxes, but make sure you delete them afterwards. And here's all things dragon. I'm sure, as of right now, you can't do nothing right now, but I'm sh sure this is probably where you'll be able to be able to get more dragons in the future using coins, but I'm not too sure about that. Don't quote me on that. I'm not 100% positive that that's what they're going to do. Now, I do I do guys have to recommend something to you guys. It's very important that if you but purchase early access and do play, here's an hatching altar. I'll tell you what these do. Is when you complete the tutorial, you'll come... To one of these hatching altars, they're scattered all around the server. And this is where you're able to get the dragons. You're uh, you're able to re-roll three times before you have to pick that dragon. So if so it's pretty much like gambling. So 
Like, if the first three sets of dragons, because they'll spawn in these gold blocks, if the first set of three are not the ones you're wanting, you can re-roll. If those are not what you're wanting, you can re-roll again. And then if those are not what you're wanting, then... You, and I think you can re-roll one more time after that. And then, if that is three or two re-rolls, I'm not really sure. I didn't really re-roll. Re um, but anyways, so like, so that, it, it, pick your dragon, it's up to you. I personally went with combat, because I found combat would probably be the hardest, and, uh, I just say I definitely made the right decision picking combat, but it's really up to you guys. Whatever you think, whatever you think the hardest will be to you, I would pick that set dragon. Whether it's combat, farming, and mining. But everyone has their own separate dragons. It's not... It's really not... You have to... Be forced to pick. And I do have a rename tag. So if I want to rename my dragon. But as of right now... Probably not. But yeah, this is what the server has to offer. Uh, do... I do have to... Mind you guys, this is in still an early development. It's still the early access just came out like I say four days, three days ago. Someone like that, I'm not really too sure. I know the staff's been talking about updating a lot this week. So I'll I'll you know, I'll keep I'll probably keep y'all updated if anything new to the server happens and whatnot. But anyways, this is pretty pretty much what the server has to offer right now. You basically just level up yourself, level up your dragon, and do quests. But there, there'll be more stuff they'll add in the future that would make the, make the server even cooler than it already is. But uh, enough rambling. If you want to play the server, it is Enchanted Dragons. It is on Bedrock. It is on the featured servers list, so... Find out. You do have to pay to play, so you have to either get the regular Dragon's Pass or the VIP. Uh, but if, if I were you, I would personally pick the regular Dragon's Pass, just in case you feel like this server is probably not going to be the best for you. Because I personally don't want y'all wasting $16 and... Never playing the server again. That wouldn't be... That's not what they're looking for. They want people that... If they, it, it, I'm sure they want people that if they purchase VIP, they're going to be here. F they love the server. They're going to be here for a long time. They ain't going anywhere soon. But... Without further ado, you just have to play your server yourself. If you have any more questions, join the Discord down in the description below. Um, and subscribe to my channel, turn on notifications, and whatnot, and, and yeah, if you have any more questions and you are on the server, if, if staff's on, ask them, I'm sure they wouldn't mind helping you, that's their job after all, and if no staff is on, then you just join the Discord, you, you'll open a ticket, and staff will be with you as soon as you're as soon as they're available but anyways yeah that's gonna be it for today's video i hope you guys did enjoy smash like subscribe with notification and without further ado i will see you all in the next video peace out and bye bye see you all in the next one peace out